party people and thank you guys for joining me again for another journey of a plus size yogi yoga session so once again if this is your first time hanging out with your girl getting this yoga shit cracking then welcome I'm sure you're going to love it here. Um, you know, we have started from the bottom and we are slightly more progressive than where we started from. Uh, so before we get into this yoga session, I definitely want to make sure and remind you guys to like and subscribe your girl's videos because you keep coming back because you love me and I love you. All of your support, all of the people that interact with me during these yoga sessions and tell me how much they like them and blah, 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 blah. I love that. And I love that for you. So you might as well go ahead and subscribe for your girl like seriously so honestly don't cheat yourself treat yourself so it's gonna be a quick 10 minute you are gonna need a prop whether it's a water bottle or a yoga block if you have not already gotten that before definitely use a water bottle or maybe even a book to do a substitution if you don't have your yoga tools yet so let's get started Okay, so we're going to start off this session by starting off in a child's pose, which is feet together, knees apart, laying your forehead to the ground, making sure that our shoulder blades are away from our ears. We're going to sit in this position for a little bit, and as we start this yoga session, try to keep some positive affirmations in mind. What is one thing you want to focus on that is not only going to get you through this yoga session, but also get you throughout the day? So we're going to take a couple of deep breaths here in child's position. In through your nose, out through your nose, clearing your mind of any other concerns that the day may have for you. We're going to take a few more deep breaths. Last three breaths. And then we are going to take it into a tabletop position. Making sure your knees and your arms are shoulder length and lip width apart. And we're going to do some cat and cow poses. You want to make sure that you are exhaling on the cow, inhaling on the cat. Two more count count positions. And then we're going to take our right leg and extend it back, giving us a nice deep stretch. And we're going to bring that right leg all the way to the front of the mat to a deep low lunge. What helps me is bringing my arms all the way up, kind of looking up, getting into that. And then we're going to go from the low lunge into a downward facing dog. And going right into this position from our lower lunge on our right side, we might be a little stiff, so definitely shake that out. And you definitely want to keep in mind as, as we go on to these flows, the time between poses may vary. So we're going to go down to a cobra pose. back into a tabletop position and we're going to repeat what we did on our right side to our left side so extend your left leg now giving it a nice deep stretch before you take that left leg to the front of the mat and a deep low lunge on your left hand side now and don't forget to bring your arms up and if it helps, bring your gaze up as well. Make sure you're trying to get deep into that stretch. We're going to place our hands down. And we're going to go right back into a downward facing dog. And 
a few deep breaths in and out. And we're going to go back down to a tabletop position. Going from tabletop vanasa into a mini cobra pose or baby cobra pose as we like to say. And we're just going to lift up halfway our upper body and squeeze this position and let it go. And we're going to do this about two or three more times. So lift up upper body, squeeze your shoulder blades back, arms back and down. Last one. And then we're going to go in straight into our downward facing dog with our flirty foot on our right leg. So that flirty right leg from the downward facing dog into a high deep lunge. Bring your arms all the way up. And what we're going to do now is with our right hand, grab our left wrist and lean towards our right side for our crescent move. And after we get that crescent move, we're going to bring our hands to our chest. And we're going to go to a twist on our right hand side, which now brings us to a twisted prayer pose as we're into this deep lunge as well. Now, if you have the strength, look up. If you don't, definitely try to keep your balance by looking down. And we're going to bring our left leg in to a chair position. And we're going to keep that twisted pose. And now we're going to go to a seated chair position until standing up straight to full mounting and releasing our arms. Back into a full session. So we're going to frontward fold. Breathe in, half up. Forward folding down. Going right back into a downward dog position, into the vinyasa, and then upward facing dog. Right back down into a downward facing dog. If you haven't noticed, we are moving through these flows with such fluidity. Take a couple of deep breaths into that downward facing dog. And now we're going to switch into our left side. So bring that left leg from downward facing dog to the front of the mat. And again, high lunge. And we're going to do a crescent moon on our left side. So make sure you grab your right wrist with your left hand. And from that crescent moon, we're going to do a twisted prayer on our left side. Taking about three more deep breaths. Try to get back that heart rate to a normal level if you can. And now we're going to bring our left leg all the way up to the mat into a twisted prayer position pose. From twisted prayer, we're going to do a mountain pose. Right back down for forward fold, halfway up, and going back down. So next thing we want to do is lay on our back and grab a block or a water bottle if you have it because we are going to get to a bridge pose and something you want to keep in mind with a bridge pose is you want to squeeze your thighs holding that block or a water bottle or a book whatever object you may have and squeezing that and lifting yourself up and then also after engaging your thighs fully you want to engage your glutes as well as you hold into that bridge pose so we're going to hold it here just a little bit longer and then we're going to let go, roll your butt down, leveling your spine. And we're going to take our block or water bottle, or if you have a book, I think it might be the best option, placing it under your spinal or your tailbone and bringing your right leg in, stretching out your left leg. So I'll take a few breaths in this position, really stretch out, you know. Whatever hand position is the most comfortable for you, for you bringing your right leg in. And now we're going to let our right leg go and bring in our left leg. Give a nice, good stretch there. Extend your right leg as straight as you can while trying to bring in your left knee. After about four or five more breaths, you're going to let go of that left leg. 
And now what we are going to do is a waterfall position by bringing both legs up while you are still on your block or your book and taking a couple of deep breaths in this position. Your legs might be tight, so if you want to do a pedaling position with your feet, you are more than welcome to do so. Maybe you want to rotate your ankles, flex them out a little bit. And now we're going to bring both legs down and remove the block from under you. And now we're going to lay full out corpse pose. Or if you want to bring your arms directly above your head, get as much of that stretch in as possible you can before you roll over to your seated position. We have now brought ourselves to the end. You have done it. Prayer position or hands folded across your chest. We're going to take a few more deep breaths in through our nose, out through our mouth. We have accomplished another session. Be very proud of yourself. As we are going, we are pushing ourselves more and more. Be proud of yourself today. So party people, we have completed another yoga session. I don't know about y'all, but I'll be sweating after each and every one because you have to remember these aren't just passive yoga poses we're doing. We're not just doing passive sessions. We are trying to engage each and every muscle, each and every pose to make sure that we are like defined, lines are straight, and all of that good jazz. So just remember when you think it's only just a 10 minute yoga session, just know that we work hard up in this bitch, okay? And that's on period. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I worked up a nice little sweat. Um, if you guys want to kind of keep up with me and any other health and fitness that I'm doing, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. I got some dumbbells. I'm taking walks now. I'm eating acai bowls. So, you know, keep up with your girl in this health journey that we are all on to becoming better for ourselves. And I will catch you on my next one. Thank you, guys.